houses, roads, river crossings, canals. One of our earliest technological endeavours was civil engineering. These early efforts form the foundation of today's highly sophisticated, varied and rewarding industry. From deep beneath the North Sea, to the top of Hong Kong, from the wells of peasant fields, to vast dams. A degree in civil engineering could set you on the right road to building your future. Civil engineering has two main objectives. To harness the forces of nature to benefit mankind and to create a better environment for us all to live in. To achieve these aims, we must also deal with natural hazards, floods, drought and earthquakes. We also take responsibility for environmental control, transport planning and pollution. Before we can design and build effective structures, we must first understand the laws of nature and then apply our knowledge with imagination and innovation. Civil engineering is therefore a creative art with a scientific basis. Feasibility studies, exploration, design, construction, project and financial management, developing computer systems and the use of robotics. It's an interdisciplinary challenge. Are you ready for it? As with most industries, the role of computers is an ever-increasing one. We are now developing special software for designers and robots for construction. In a few years, the more routine tasks will be handled by technology, allowing the engineer to concentrate on essential decision-making and the efficient management of projects. Every country needs some form of civil engineering expertise. In some, you may have to work with basic machinery and very limited resources. But it's rewarding to consider that the success of your project will improve many people's lives. Involvement in either developing countries or state-of-the-art construction enables engineers to travel the world as project managers, consultants and resident engineers. Your first step towards a life in this exciting profession is to choose the right degree course. At Imperial College, our civil engineering course gives you a thorough grounding in the essential civil engineering subject areas, structures, hydraulics, and soil mechanics. Having strong undergraduate courses and being a major centre for postgraduate studies has earned our department an international reputation. This ensures that the department is involved with most of the ongoing, prestigious projects. Our staff members have close links with industry and their broader interest gives the course a vocational flavour which enhances its academic strength. Site visits give you a closer look at the work of a qualified engineer. Here you can experience problems which cannot be appreciated in a lecture theatre. You're encouraged and helped to find vacation work as student engineers. This means first-hand experience in design, construction and management skills. Invaluable when choosing the right job after graduation. Before I attended Imperial, before I applied for the course, I spoke to a lot of people in industry who um, advised me that Imperial was uh, very well known and had a good reputation. Well, when I decided to study civil engineering, I talked to a friend of my father's, a Spanish civil engineer, who told me to basically go for Imperial because it is the best place in Europe to do civil engineering. I really expected to be studying structural engineering, dealing with steel, concrete, and um, I was really sort of surprised, quite pleasantly, by uh, the diversity of the course, the fact that I could look at soils, water, uh, study geology. 
A lot of the lecturers um, have a lot of links with the people in industry, do a lot of projects for them on real life situations and they then take those projects and reduce them to our level and um, so a lot of things that we do in the first and second year are related to real life problems and makes it a lot more interesting for us. In addition to academic tutors, each student has a personal tutor who is an experienced member of staff. Students are free to discuss any problems, academic or personal. It's their duty to ensure a smooth transition from school to university life. And what about accommodation? Well, all first year students have guaranteed places in halls of residence or student flats. But life at Imperial is not just about work. Our multicultural environment provides an incredible range of social activities and societies, as well as our excellent sporting facilities. A lot of the students at Imperial are overseas students, and I mean, this gives you opportunities to meet people from different backgrounds and cultures, you know, widening your horizons a bit. The benefits of studying with people from all over the world is that you make a lot of friends. Um, I found that I have now have a lot of friends from Greece or Cyprus and this will obviously give me an opportunity later in life to visit them and maybe on a professional basis as well. When I first came to college, um, one of the reasons I wanted to do civil engineering was so that I could have the opportunity to go abroad and after meeting people in college from um, overseas, particularly from developing countries, that's just increased my interest in being able to go and work abroad. And what about activities outside college? We're situated in an area long established as a cultural centre for the arts, music, science and museums. Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens, the King's Road and Knightsbridge are just around the corner. Portobello Road, Oxford Circus and the whole of London's West End are only a short tube ride away. The cost of accommodation may be a little higher in London, but most students find that the advantages far outweigh the cost. I think there are obviously a wealth of opportunities through living in London, and if you wanted it would be possible to go out every night and do something different for a whole year, which wouldn't be the case in other towns. There's so many pubs who've got comedy nights on or bands on, and a lot of the theatres have student dance standbys. Um, if you're in London you've got no end of things to see and enjoy. And it's really great being in London because you've got all these sort of really top musicians on your doorstep. You've got so many concerts available to you where you can see these big names and uh, I just don't think it's available anywhere else. Well obviously London's a very big city and there's a wide range of things you can do and whatever your interests, I don't think you can fail but to have a good time. Our courses are often reviewed and updated to suit the ever-changing demands of the industry. This ensures that our graduates are sought after by both industry and research organisations. Most of our graduates go on to become design or site engineers and reach responsible positions very quickly. When I graduated I was fortunate enough in that there were um, a lot of major civil engineering consultants who actually were interested in Imperial College graduates and I was offered seven jobs of which I chose to go and work for Maunsells. I'm now working for Baptist Sean Morton in their highways and transportation section so I'm now getting experience in the design of major motorway schemes in the UK. Civil engineering encompasses such a wide range of disciplines that I honestly believe that there is something in there for everyone and I'm still actually finding out which particular branch of engineering that I am most interested in. It is civil engineers who provide the infrastructures of the world, the basic framework necessary for the development of society. A degree in civil engineering offers personal satisfaction in tangible achievement. There always has been and always will be a need for civil engineers. For the qualified and creative, the rewards can be considerable. At Imperial College, we can equip you with the right tools to build your future.